So once it gets dark, we're gonna take this laser and we're gonna fly over to that water tower about one quarter mile away. And then we're gonna light the water tower up with the laser. And with the drone, we'll be able to see what the laser looks like hitting the tower and also looking back at the laser. Now that it's finally almost completely dark, I have the drone prepped for takeoff. And since it's now dark, let me show you how bright this laser actually is. I bought this on Amazon about a week ago. This is the drone. I'm going to, I'm going to be flying a Mavic 3 over to the water tower. Let's go ahead and light it up one time with the laser and see if we can see it from here. Yeah. You can see the laser on the water tower. Now let me do a zoom in shot. And there we go. That's approximately one quarter of a mile. That's how bright this laser is. And let's get the drone in the air. This is the drone's view as we approach the water tower. I can steer. All right, it should be close enough. Now that I have the drone in position, let's deploy the laser. That's pretty incredible. Now let's spin the drone around and see what the laser looks like from here. It is a federal offense to shine a laser beam at any manned aircraft. And this video provides a very good demonstration of why that is against the law. This particular laser cost $18 on Amazon and I will provide a link in the video description if you would like to purchase one for yourself. It comes with a case and is rechargeable. So now it is completely dark and I'm shining the laser on the water tower just to show you how bright the beam is. It's actually darker than it appears, but I have the exposure on the phone turned up really sensitive. I can point up into the sky.